As far as standing up the federal medical station, so we kept the equipment uh, in place at the Indio Fairgrounds. We've also kept it in place at the Sears building in Riverside. Um, we have not, uh, do, we don't have the wraparound services. In other words, the heating, the air conditioning, uh, the, the generators, uh, we could very quickly stand those back up. So the equipment, the space are not the issue. The issue would be, uh, and we have learned this as we've gone forward with this and, and interacting with the state and how they provide staff to us for these federal medical stations. They provide very low level care. Um, they, they do not address the very sick. Um, they are not even really capable of taking care of med surge level patients. These are really low level patients that maybe would need, could be discharged from the hospital and stay there for a couple of days. They're not, it, it's not a situation where you would uh, um, uh, utilize an FMS to take care of uh, critical care patients. That being said, any, any staffing that we would need to do um, and pull from local staffing, we would be directly competing with our hospitals um, who are working on their surge plans and staffing. And at this point in time, looking at where we're going, even though we have an increase, talking with the hospital CEOs and hospital administrators, um, <clears throat> we believe that, that the focus and what we are going to support is hospitals to do their internal surge um, and not necessarily move to the, the external surge of standing up a, a federal medical station. Uh, we believe that we, they, hospitals through the surge planning initiative are going to be able to handle the surge internally. Um, so we don't want to start a staffing pattern where we would have to compete with, with the hospitals for, for staff. Uh, 